the red light. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that was very weak. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. Peter's Lutheran Church right here in Cypress Hills, Brooklyn. We are coming to you from this wonderful sanctuary uh, on the Sunday after our First Communion, and I'm looking for some of the students are back here today to receive their Second Communion. That's a good thing. Uh, we are also very happy to have all of you with us online and in person. At the beginning of the service, uh, we simply rise and thank God for all of our health care, as you're able, health care workers, uh, those who serve and protect, those who care for others, those who teach, those who are in the essential worker category, all of those people. So please rise. Those in the front, we're not catching the message. One, two, three. And here's a song that starts us off with a kind of a kid's week uh, for us. Jesus in the morning. Jesus when the sun goes down. Here we go. Oh, a little Caribbean. Okay. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus in the morning, Jesus at the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him at the noontime, love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. sun goes down. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him in the morning, praise Him at the noontime. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him when the sun goes down. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the when the sun goes down. Amen. We make our beginning in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching him in the name of our Lord Jesus to grant us forgiveness. Before we... Uh, continue with the confession we're going to sing God forgave my sins in Jesus name freely freely you have received Love and 
as I told me to. He said, freely, freely, you have believed. Freely, freely give. Go and become, and because you we continue with the confession of sins which is found on the screen almighty God merciful father I a poor miserable sinner confess to you all my sins and iniquities with which I have offended you and for which I justly deserve your punishment but I am sorry for them and repent of them and I pray for your boundless mercy forgive my sins give me your Holy Spirit for the amendment of my life and bring me to life everlasting. Amen. You know that God is good and gracious, and he forgives all our sins as we confess them because of Jesus Christ. As a called and ordained servant of his word, I therefore announce to you the full and free pardon of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you can remain standing as you can, we're going to sing From Where the Sun Rises even to the place it goes down. Here we go. From where the sun rises, even to the place it goes down, we're giving you praise, giving you praise from sun pray together the prayer of the day which is found on the screen and in your bulletin dear Lord your unfailing mercy is our refuge even when our broken choices take us down the wrong paths lead us to the safety of your righteousness and set us on the rock of your love so that in times of trial we may stand firm anchored in faith through Jesus Christ our rock and our Redeemer amen you may have a seat. Please be seated. We're going to continue with the first reading. 
Primera lectura. Good morning. Good morning. The first lesson is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 11, beginning at the 18th verse. You shall put these words of mine in your heart and soul. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and fix them as an emblem on your forehead. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Write them on your doorposts of your house and on your gates so that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land that the Lord swore to your ancestors to give them. As long as the heavens are above the earth, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Natasha. Wonderfully done. And we're going to ask Pam to step forward at this time with a special, special selection on this Sunday morning. And it'll fit right in with the theme of the day. So, Pam, what are you going to sing for us today? You have to take the mask down. That's right. Eagle's wings. Wait a, wait a, wait a minute. minute. Try Eagle's it again. Eagle's wings. They that wait upon the Lord shall Sorry. renew their strength. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. How about if I put a different mic in front of her here? Here. You want to have that one? Yes, thank you. Okay. She's got a... Good morning, everyone. I hope this song will be a blessing to we, us and our families who are going through a rough time now, been sick and worries. So here it goes. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like an eagle they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint teach me lord teach me lord how to wait if you're sick and you can't get around and your doctor cannot be found turn it over to the lord he will heal you i know he will and no matter how long it takes god will heal just you wait teach me lord teach me lord how to wait if your body in aching pain and your strength you can't regain turn it over to the lord he will heal you i know he will and no matter how long it takes jesus will heal you if you wait teach me lord teach me lord how to wait they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount
mount up with way like an eagle they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint teach us lord teach us lord how to wait teach us lord teach us lord how to wait thank you wonderful that speaks volumes and volumes to each one of us today Good morning, church family. Good morning. Today's second lesson comes from Romans chapter 1, verses 16 through 17, and chapters 3, 22b through 28. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for salvation to everyone who has faith, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it, the righteousness of God is revealed through faith for faith, as it is written. The one who is righteous will live by faith. For there is no distinction, since all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. They are now justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus whom God put forward as a sacrifice of atonement by his blood, effective through faith. He did this to show his righteousness, because in his divine forbearance, he had passed over the sins previously committed. It was to prove at the present time that he himself is righteous and that he justifies the one who has faith in Jesus. Then what becomes of boasting? It is excluded. By what law? By that of works? No. But by the law of faith. For we hold that a person is justified by faith apart from works prescribed by the law. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Twyla, that was read like a good Lutheran. That was such a Lutheran reading, man. That was the best. <laughs> Jolanda, help. Ayuda, ayuda. Momentito. Segunda lectura. Okay. Segunda lectura tomada del libro de Romanos, capítulo 1, versículo del 16 al 17. Romanos, capítulo, capítulo 3, versículo del 22b al 28. A la verdad, no me avergüenzo del Evangelio pues es poder de Dios para la salvación de todos los que creen, de los judíos primeramente, pero de los gentiles. De hecho, en el Evangelio se revela la justicia que proviene de Dios, la cual es por fe de principio a fin tal como está escrito. El justo vivirá por la fe. Esta justicia de Dios llega mediante la fe en Jesucristo a todos los que creen. De hecho, no hay distinción, pues todos han pecado y están privados de la gloria de Dios. Pero por su gracia son justificadas gratuitamente mediante la redención que Cristo Jesús efectuó. Dios 
lo ofreció como un sacrificio de expiación que se recibe por la fe en su sangre, para así demostrar su justicia. Anteriormente, en su paciencia, Dios había pasado por alto los pecados, pero en el tiempo presente han ofrecido a Jesucristo para manifestar su justicia. De este modo, Dios es justo y a la vez el que justifica a los que tienen fe en Jesús. ¿Dónde, pues, está la jactancia? Queda excluida. ¿Por cuál principio? ¿Por qué la observación de la ley? No, sino con el de la fe, porque sostenemos que todos somos justificados por la fe y no por las obras que la ley exige. Esta es palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. Otra luterana. Yes, give her an aplauso. That's the central reading, just so you know, of the whole Lutheran thing. We are not justified by what we do, but by faith in God. Faith in God is what counts. And isn't that the point, right? That's why we're here. We're going to rise and sing. As you're able, please rise, and we will sing. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. gospel according to our second Sunday in Pentecost is from St. Matthew chapter 7 beginning in verse 21st. Glory to you, you O Lord. Lord. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, I will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we know prophecy in your name and cast out demons in your name? and do many deeds of power in your name. Then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Go away from me, you evil doors. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts of them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fail because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not add of them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house. And it fell and great was its fall. Now, when Jesus has finished saying these things, the crowds were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as a one half authority and not of their scribes. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise you, O Christ. And you may return. This uh, procession returns, and people may be seated. And I'm going to have a little pregunta. Is there anyone here who's going to take these children into the parish hall for Sunday school? Is there anyone here who's going to do that? If not, I'm going to have the kids come up now for my own little Sunday school lesson. Okay? Niñitos, all the kids can come on up, come on up. 
Is it too cold, right? Okay. Here they go. Here they go. Come on in. Come on, buddy. You got to help me today. You guys. Okay. Move the line this way. Move this way. Psst. Everybody in this way. There we go. Now we're in the middle. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? Skyler? Correct. Jamir? Cammy? So good morning. So I want you guys to help me today. How many of you can sing a little? Can you sing a little? Can you sing a little? So here's, here's the song. Then the, you guys will sing. This side of the building will sing. This side of the building will respond. You ready to respond? This is your no, no, this is all you need to know. Jesus is the rock and he rolls my blues away. Let's say it. Jesus is the rock. Jesus. Rock. And he rolls my blues away. When you sing this, you have all of you on this side. You have to do this. Jesus is the rock, and then you have to do this. And he rolls my blues away. Feel me? Jesus is the rock, and he rolls my blues away. Your job on this side of the building is to do this. Bop, shoe, bop, shoe, bop, woo! That's you. Bop, shoe, bop, shoe, bop, woo! These, can you do this? You're, you're supposed to do this for them. Let me hear you. Bop, shoe, bop, shoe, bop, woo! Well, that was weak. Come on. All right. I'm not sure about this. Let's see if this works. Here it goes. You over here? Give me a note. Is that a good note? Be, 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 ba. Roll my blues away. A little higher. Rock and it rolls my blues away. That's right. Yeah, you got it. Okay. You ready over here? Bop, shoe, bop, shoe, bop. Woo! Okay, over here. Jesus is the rock and he rolled my blues away. Here it goes. Now I'm, I'm not waiting. No more rehearsal. This is it. This is it. One. Bum. One, two, three, four. Jesus is the rock and he rolled my blues away. Jesus is the rock and he rolled my blues away. Jesus is the rock and he rolled my blues away. Nice rehearsal. Okay. That was, it was, it were, it's a work in progress. We're going to do it one more time. Then I'm going to talk about it. Okay. Get the third one. Jesus is the rock and it's Elvis. Roll my blues away. Here it goes. One, a two, a three, a four. A Jesus is the rock and roll my blues away. Jesus is the rock and it roll my blues away. Jesus is the rock and it roll my blues away. How about that? Give yourself a hand. That was good. That was good. So Jesus is the rock. You believe in Jesus? Yes. Did you make your first communion last week? Yes. Are you coming back today? Yes. See that? That's the way it works. I said, I said last week, I said, they, they answered the question, said, how often should we come back? And what was the answer to the question, how often should we come back, Camden? As often as we should. 
as we could. As often as we could. And here he is on the second Sunday, yes. So that's how you stay attached to the rock, right, Jamir? You stay attached to the rock the whole time. You don't go in the sand. What happens when you go in the sand? You could sink and fall and tumble. So stay with the rock. What's the name of the rock? Who is in the name of the rock? Jesus. This is the rock. You ever have blues? He rolls the blues away. That's what he does. That's why he's there. He's the roller of the blues. Now we cannot send you. We found a volunteer. We found a volunteer to take this group of children out of this building and into the next building for Sunday school. They're going to learn about building on the rock, okay? Come on, volunteer. Or we found a volunteer. We're not even telling you who it is. <laughs> it's the hidden volunteer. We're locking them in the room. No, no, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. We roll those blues out the door right there. Okay. Sisters and brothers in Christ our Lord, it is wonderful to be with you today with this beautiful big family here for these baptisms and affirmations of baptism. And it is a day, too, for me to remember some stuff with you on this theme about building on a rock and not on the sand. Build on the rock and not on the sand. So Judy and I, Judy's in the back there, um, we were in Staten Island uh, about 11 years ago, and it was a late October day, and a church was having their anniversary on Staten Island. And I was the speaker, because I was the bishop then, so I was a speaker at their banquet. And about 2 o'clock, I said, you know, folks, this is not a good day to stay over. I'm not going to stay. I'm on Staten Island. I live way out in Queens. I want to, I need to leave pretty soon. So if you mind, what I, can I speak early in the program? They said, oh, you of little faith. They said, there's a little storm on the way, but nobody will really be bothered by it. Don't worry about that storm. I said, they're telling us that this is one of the stupor storms of our entire life. You know, and they said, you just don't have the faith, Pastor, even though you're our bishop. I said, well, how about this? I'll give you a lovely speech at 2.15, and I'm leaving with my wife at 2.30, because they're going to close that bridge, that Verrazano Bridge, they're going to close. What happened that night? Superstorm Sandy. Yes, Superstorm Sandy. And half of the left half of Staten Island was gone. And the next day, I went out to another place where I stayed for about five years of my life with other people here, and that was the Rockaways. And I spent a law every day, we spent every day for five years because those houses were on the sand, and those houses were overwhelmed by that storm. And we went to the house of a beautiful, uh, Lutheran person we found out right there on Beach 67th. And we went into that home, and the woman said, Pastor, she said, Bishop, she said, I, I have to tell you this. I had fish coming from this side and fish come from this side. Fish in the, in the house. Hello, I don't think you're welcome here. I didn't ask for any fish to come into my home. And it was up to her ceiling, right? Came from the bay side and the beach side. And we stayed there for five years and established a center called what? The Hope and a Prayer Center. Because when people go into that sandy soil and their hopes begin to sink and they didn't build upon the rock, right? You have to come and give them every ounce of hope they can get and pull, pull them back onto the rock. Pull them back from despair into hope again. And I wish we were still out there because I, had, I thought it was a wonderful thing our church did, our, this St. Peter's did, and the whole diocese did, the whole district. But think about that event. Some of you were alive then, right? Were anybody living on the Rockaways? <laughs> there are people like from the Rockaways. And, and uh, we had many in our church here who were from out there. And man, 
That was a tough thing. Here's my point to you today. These kids just stood up here, and these kids are out here today for baptisms so that they might build their lives upon a rock. And a rock. <laughs> happy. He's happy to hear that. I think he's answering the doorbell there. Uh, they're building their lives upon the rock of their faith, of their family, of love from God and their relatives. They're going to build their lives. I hope they get a good school. We have one right here, as you know. I hope they get a lovely education. I hope they find a good job. But the bedrock, bedrock, bedrock is, do these children build upon the rock who is Jesus? Do they build upon the rock of the faith in the family? Do they build upon the rock which will not fall, which will not falter, which cannot falter, the rock of ages? who is Jesus. And that's why we're here today. It's why you come to church every Sunday. I mean, we go through some distressing times, don't we? As Pammy sang about it, there's a time when you're sick and you're suffering and it feels like your life is slipping away. But the rock who is Christ will not desert you. The foundation who is Jesus will not let you die. He will pick you back up. He will restore your soul. I'm seeing people out here right now today who have been through that time, that tough time, right, in life. Friends desert you. Job leaves. Money not in the bank. What are we going to do about all those things, you know? We're going to remain attached to the rock who is Christ. We're going to remain attached to the word of God which says there's always hope. Because your hope is not built on a minute or an hour or a day or a year or a, even a lifetime. It's built on eternity. See, when we, when we baptize people here, we're baptizing them into eternity. We're not just baptizing them as a ceremony for a half an hour on a Sunday morning. You're baptizing someone into a family that lasts forever. So, I mean, I've gone to churches where they, people don't get along. Not like here. We all get along. Do we all get along? Most of the time? Yeah. Okay. So, do we all get along, Elmer? Yes, we do. We're just fine. But I've been to churches where they don't get along. And this half of the building and talking to this half of the building, right? And I said, you're going to be together for eternity. And they look at one another and go, oh, no. That might not be a good thing. Guess what? We are together for eternity in the hands of a loving God. God's not going to let go of you. God cannot let go of you because God's love never fails. God cannot let go of you because the rock which is Christ holds you to God. It holds you on that higher ground. We, we live on that higher ground. We exist on that higher ground. Uh, I would... I would love to say there will never be another storm like Sandy. I would love to be able to say that, but I don't know. Do you know? There might be one next Thursday for all we know. The storms will come and go. The storms of life will come and go. But the one who will remain is our God, is our Jesus. The one who will remain is the one who holds us in the palm of his hand. And that's what the Bible tells me. It says God doesn't not only not let go of us, God holds us like this and said, you're my child. You're my child if you're 74. You're my child if you're four. You're my child before you were even born. And you are my child forever. So today on the Sunday of Jesus is the rock and he rolls the blues away. Let's let the blues roll away. Get them out of there and instead replace it with this. Bop, shoe bop, shoe bop, woo! Jesus bless you and keep you through the day in his name. Amen? Amen. So we're going to go ahead with, are we at baptism time yet? I think we are. How to beat any superstorm. Okay, that was my text. Dr. Davidson, are we all here? Okay. Oh. I think I see, now I think I know who volunteered, okay. Now, Giovanni, Gianni, and Zarimar. And the, and the, and I want to see the padrinos too.
Ja. She's in the restroom? Okay, we'll wait a second. Come on up with the baby. So this is something that was requested, and I, I, I wanted to say I, I'm in good agreement with this. This is the baby who's going to be baptized. Hello. What up, man? I'm going to get you all wet. Uh, and then the one who's coming back, what, but she'll be right back. Uh, she, she uh, was, was also baptized, was baptized, and this young lady was baptized. But they want to say today in the presence of God and, all, and of this, the dear son that they are affirming that baptism, that they're going to walk on that road. So we don't baptize twice, but we can't affirm our baptism. And I've done it often at this church. And I will, I will place the water on their head and make the sign of the cross as an affirmation. And then you will say, I really believe what happened to me was real, and I'm going to heaven with Jesus someday. Okay, let's wait for the... Is he, is he okay? Yeah. Padrinos, are you ready? Where are the, where are the madrina padrinos? Okay, I'm going to get my book. And I need the oil. Oil and the vela. The candle. All right. Are we ready? You're more than ready. Here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In holy baptism, God delivers us from sin. He gives us power to become his children. And he tells us very clearly that he loves us with an everlasting love. We, we bring everyone into the baptismal font we can because it's a way to be part of this new family in Jesus. And it's a way to be part of a family that lasts eternally. So we are here today for that reason. For that reason, I'm going to ask the padrinos. Hello, padrinos? Now, you have, you have promised to take care of this beautiful baby. By what? Praying for the baby. Orando by standing behind the parents, by standing behind them at all times, and promising to be there for them when they need you for him. And you have thirdly promised that you will do that for as long as you are alive. It isn't for today. This is every single day. Finally, you're going to give this baby a lot of gifts, a lot of regalitos. Uh, so, do you intend to do this by the grace of God? Then say, yes, with the help of God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'm now going to offer this prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, ruler of all things. Your voice thundered over the water at creation. 
You water the mountains and send springs into the valleys to refresh and satisfy all living things. You call those in the flood through the ark to safety. You led your people in the sea from slavery to freedom. You nourished in the wilderness with water from a rock, and you brought them across the river Jordan to the promised land. Your son Jesus carried us to safety. The floods shall not overwhelm us. The deep shall not swallow us up. Jesus has brought us to the land of promise. He sends us to make disciples in his name. Amen? Amen. And now, that was good. Good ending. Okay. Are we ready for this ceremony at this time? Okay, we're starting, of course. We're going to start, of course, with uh, Giovanni Hermias Vasquez, Jr. That's who we're starting with here. He's not going to let go. Okay, that's all right. And now I ask you in the presence of God and all these witnesses, everyone can respond. You see the words on the screen? Is it? Uh, it's not turning. Well, we should have the clicker. They can't participate if they can't see it. Oh, enough. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Now you can see it. Okay. Giovanni, and you were asking, we're answering on in his place, see? Do you renounce all the forces of evil? Do you renounce the devil? Do you renounce all the devil's empty promises? Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? His only Son, our Lord. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? Amen. So that's the faith into which we, ba we baptize. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Are you ready to go, Giovanni? Maybe. No. doesn't matter whether you're ready or not. <laughs> Giovanni, I baptize you in the name of the Father, oh, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Panuelo? Is it Panuelo? That was the first move I made was right in his face. Oh no. Oh boy. Now Gianni and Zarimal, I bring you forward for the this ceremony, which is the affirmation of your faith. Do you wish to affirm that your your baptism in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is really in your heart, then say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Do you, do you intend to follow the teachings of Jesus for the rest of your life and say, yes, with the help of God? Yes. Yes. With the help of God. She said yes. God. Yes, with the help of God. Yes, with the help of God. Amen. Then we affirm your baptism today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the blessing of Almighty God. Receive the blessing of Almighty God, Zadimad, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you, direct you, keep you, and sustain you both in his wonderful faith unto eternal life. Amen? And now, this baby, whose head is covered up. 
I'm going to say something on top of his head, right here. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for freeing your sons and daughters from your power, the power of sin and for making them your children through, the, through this holy baptism. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon Giovanni, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Amen. oil in the cross of Christ you are baptized unto life eternal in the cross of Christ you have been baptized unto life eternal this man received the sign of the Holy Cross upon your forehead and over your heart honey the sign that Jesus loves you amen and now we have the candle on the altar we're going to light that candle, and then you can take it with you as well. Hold on. Let me put this there. There. It's looking good. There. It all came out okay. You have anything to say? <laughs> Just bring... Well, you don't need this. Okay. Receive now this burning light. And may this light of this candle also be a sign. Look at this, honey. Here. See? Oh, that's your candle. Yeah, receive that burning candle. That's a sign of the light of Jesus who is in your heart forever and a day. And may it burn brightly in him, in you, and in you for the rest of eternity. Amen? Amen. Amen. And now we are going to conclude. Right there, right there. Let me have this. Through baptism, God has added your name to the role of our ancestors in Christ. You are a part of the priesthood we share in Jesus. You have not been called in vain. Therefore, take up your cross, follow Jesus through the, pra the prairies and grasslands, the desert wilderness, the freeways and back alleys of suburb and city. You belong to God, sent to witness for Christ today and every single day. And there is a response. Read the response on there. We will. Amen. And now an applause. So let's give God a thanks and a big round of applause. Yes. You can now blow the candle out and see what he does. And, and uh, Sonia will give you the certificates as well as the candles. We're going to continue by singing Wade in the Water. You know Wade in the Water? You know how to wade in the water? No, you're going to learn today. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Let's see. You can go. Yeah. Well, not yet. There we go. In the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water. God gonna trouble the water. I see that host all dressed in white. God's gonna trouble the water. Leader look like the Israelite. God's gonna in red God's gonna trouble the water 
God's gonna trouble the water. I look over yonder, what do I see? God's gonna trouble the water. Oh, Holy Ghost, they're coming on me. God's gonna trouble the water. Well, wait in the water. Wait. God's gonna trouble the water If you don't believe that then redeem God's gonna trouble the water Just follow me down to Jordan Stream God's gonna trouble the water We'll wait in the water God's gonna trouble the water Amen God's gonna trouble the water and he has and I hope he has troubled it in a good way for you well certainly Giovanni troubled the water he got I gave him trouble with the water so I want to say something today at the beginning of the announcement phase before we pray. And that is today we have uh, three people here, all at the same time, who are responsible for this baby being baptized today. Yes. And who would they be? They would be Elaine Zeller, sitting in row 10 back there, and Judy Banke, sitting in the ultimate row, and Clara Del Valle. They are the founders and the director of our preschool. And we believe that preschool is a mighty work of God to bring, to bring education, to bring joy, and to bring Jesus to people. This is a family today who came directly from our school to this altar. So let's give Elaine and Clara and Judy a big hand today. So, so just so you know, this, this was a while ago. 1977 was the school. 1991 was when Clara took over. So that's 32 years and many, many more years. 77. Huh? And it's still going strong. Yes. It's built on the rock. Uh, we're going to have this Sunday, I'm thankful for those who are here at the altar for Jose and... and uh, for Sonia, our president, but also want to say the Chandra Dots had a big family event, family wedding last night, so they're out for the Sunday. They normally take this half of the building. So, so uh, all the rest of us, thank you for bringing your kids on the second Sunday after their first communion. That's boom. I, I noticed that right away. And next Sunday is what day? Thank you very much. What does this mean at St. Peter's? The women will be cooking, and there's a sign-up sheet, Brenda? There's a sign-up sheet in the back for people to bring their various food products, and we will distribute some gifts to all the dads next Sunday, same time, same channel. Uh, you come on in. Dads will be recognized. Dads will participate. You want them to sing? No. Yes, no, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, and then <laughs> after church, we have a big meal in the parish hall. So you're all invited. Todos son invitados. Next Sunday, June 18th, regular time, regular channel. Clara? You have a young lady there who hasn't been here for 20 years? Carmen Ramirez's daughter. Yes. You don't remember? What? I know. Hi. Are you happy to see you? Do you live around here? No, I still live in Florida. You're living in Florida. So let's give the, the Ramirez family goes back to the dawn of time. I didn't even. Ah. When this church started, our Spanish ministry. 
Our first elder was Gilbert Ramirez, right? And that, what's your first name? I can't hear. Liliana? Viviana. This, th I got you, Viviana, okay. Anyway, they had all kinds of kids, all kind of foster kids, all kinds of adopted kids, all kind of family, and they brought that life into this church in the 80s and 90s, and here you are, back with us today, and give a beautiful hug and blessing. Okay, amen. Okay, thank you for that introduction, Clara. So next Sunday is... Father's Day, and then after that, we're going to have this last Sunday of Sunday school through the summer. So uh, that will be either the 24th or July 1st. One of those two will be the final day of Sunday school. Anything else, Judy? Audrey brought breakfast from St. Lucia. Okay. Um, Thank you, Judy. Uh, all of these announcements from the back I have to repeat because we have the whole people online. Do you have another announcement, Clara? Please come to the front. Oh! <laughs> oh no, Boricua. Boricua. Que bonita bandera. Oh no. The, uh, thank you, Clara. Uh, can we get in and out of the neighborhood today? Have they barricaded? Normally they barricade this neighborhood off for Puerto Rican Day. I don't agree with it, but they always do. Uh, anyway, have a wonderful Puerto Rican Day. Uh, I, we're not going to make the parade, but you can watch it on TV. Clara is not even from Puerto Rico, as you know. She's from a little island next to it called Vieques. Vieques. So she's Viaquensa. That counts. Uh, but now I'm going to go backwards to Judy's announcement. Two things. One is sign up to help out after church with fellowship hour. Audrey brought the beautiful uh, uh, war, uh, fellowship hour today. There's a few Sundays left. Uh, you can see the sign up sheet outside. Second thing, we want to go to a baseball game. Instead of going to the Mets, which costs a ton of money, and then they're going to lose, and the Yankees, which, and the Yankees, which cost even more money, and I don't want to see them win, uh, but we're going to go to the Brooklyn Cyclones. That's right here in Coney Island, and you can come early. It, it's only going to be at the most 15 to 20 dollars a ticket. It's much cheaper, and you're going to get a hat, and you're going to get fireworks afterward. And we took about 30, 40 people the last time we did this. August 18th, sign up outside. If you want to bring a bunch of people, it doesn't matter. We get, a, we get a discount rate. It's a group event, so we get a discounted rate. And if you want to meet us there, that's fine. If you want to drive on your own, that's fine too. Uh, August 18th, Brooklyn Cyclones. That's it for announcements, unless I hear any more. Okay. Prayer. Pr Who was that? My head, oh yeah. yeah thank you. I told them, I tell them that my head is the thermostat. When my head is cold, then it's cold. So my head is now cold. I need the prayer list? No one brought the prayer list. Everybody's about a half a beat off today. It's not, it's not a problem, it's summer. What are we gonna do? I just turned it off. You want it completely off? Yeah. 
Then I'm going to get hot. Okay. There. You will get no more coldness. We continue with our prayers. We're thinking for Joycelyn, mourning the loss of loved ones. Joycelyn from Mohan. For Jeanette in Florida. I think these are for the sick. Or in memory of Hector. Is that in memory, Mohan? Oh, oh boy, okay, they've all passed away. Down in Florida, Canada, and in New, and in New York. And a prayer for those uh, mourning the loss of loved ones all over. We're then gonna to go to the prayers for the sick. Norman, Roshan from Brenda, Mohan and family, Anne and family down in South Carolina, for Lenny in Florida, for Ozzy, for Annette Evanson, for Sister Merlene, Marcia, Fran and Clary, Jacqueline, and Flora. I messed that up. All friends of Maria, of course. And for Rich Steinbrook, a good friend of ours, a good member of this church for many, many years. He's been going through some pretty serious health issues down in Florida. We keep him in our prayers all the time. Uh, and his wife, Judy, as well, who also f helped found a school here. For Marie Cristello for healing. For, uh, man, that looks like someone else with their back. Andrew, that's it, Andrew Ryan with his back. Guidance for Brenda, Gloria, Carolyn, Alicia, Valerie, Lauren, all of them and their families, for Maria and her family, especially Taffy and Dylan in the Navy, for the Towler Bascom families and Nasser's family, uh, for Camilla and Morris right here and their families, and Anna Fung, for guidance for the Llewellyn and Paul families and Leela and her family. And on the back, we have Joseph Velasquez with body pain, continued testing for the Ryan and Isley families for prayer uh, and guidance. For Eddie and Velma, prayer and guidance. I see Velma back there. There you are. And for guidance and discernment for the Jewsbury and Green families. Is that guidance and discernment? You've got it. For Trevor, recovering from illness. Also, Mrs. Singh. Uh, and then for the entire Chandradat family who had their uh, event over the weekend, and for uh, Gita and David especially. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, the whole Bonilla family. Thomas Bonilla. Audrey Sharp, who's in the hospital. Yeah, not a hospital, rehab. Audrey's rehabbing. Gary Davidson, who's with us today. Where's Gary? He was with us. Safeway? Okay, for Gary Davidson, getting better and better. And then for our shut-ins, Darianne, Diane Miller, and thanks again to Pam Cole for singing. We ready to pray? Judy? Well, celebrations. Oh. That you're pointing at the wall. <laughs> yes, for my brother, Pastor Mike Benke. It's my brother. It's the 50th anniversary of his ordination today. And he's received a beautiful medal from the, Missouri, from the Lutheran Church because he was a VA chaplain for many years. So he got a beautiful medal for his 50th. Okay, for traveling mercies for Jack, Jack, Jackie and Anthony. This Jackie and Anthony on your road. Enjoy that trip. Stephen? Okay, for Rose. This week. Okay. Wilmer. How many? Thirteen years. Yes. Wilmer and Yolanda. Amen. 
Mucho más. Continue that. Uh, Nelly. Wow. Did you hear, how many? 58? 58. 58. Nelly and Manny of 58. Wow. Tomorrow. That's, that's a Puerto Rican celebration day right there. Yes. Maria. Joanne and Keith. Yeah. The brain, if the brain isn't there and then the ears aren't far behind. Joanne and Keith. Uh, there was somebody else I wanted. Yes, Mohan. Wednesday. They're going to Florida? Okay, for traveling. Okay. A lot of prayers. Sonia. Okay, this is a big deal. So, so uh, we, so Sonia's going down to Barbados. Her sister-in-law leaves earlier in the week, and then she's coming back with mommy, uh, Ains, and Katrina, and the kids. Kids are going down. Okay, I think we should just rent a boat and just uh, take the whole thing down there, man. I love. And it was we. Judy and I had zero problem with Barbados this winter. We were zing right there. So uh, anytime, we'll start in Puerto Rico and then we'll work our way down. Go to Barbados, come back. Okay. Traveling mercies and especially for your mom. Let's pray. Holy and heavenly God, we come before your throne of grace right now. We ask you only that you might bless us and keep us in this hour of prayer. Allow us the privilege of calling you Father, Abba in such a way that we understand that your love for us never fails. You hold us in the palm of your hands. We're grateful, we're thankful, we're blessed today on the day of these baptisms. We pray for that gratefulness in our hearts every day. Lord, in your mercy, we now ask for blessings upon those who mourn the loss of loved ones. Because Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life, we understand that we have an eternal destiny with you. Those who mourn miss their loved ones, and that is absolutely natural. And we ask, Father, that you might comfort them by the knowledge we will not be separated forever, but will be with you eternally. Lord, in your mercy. We pray now for the sick and suffering. We name so many before you, and there are many more in our hearts. Bless those who are torn up inside for whatever reason. Bless those who have physical, mental, spiritual, emotional issues and we've named them or need guidance all those things we've named before you allow us to know that the great physician who is jesus will never leave us nor desert us but will heal us in his way in his time and bless those who pray for those who heal to be healed that we might all be one family united lord in your mercy thank you lord for the gift of life for the gift of new endeavors for those who travel uh, we thank you, Father, for the, the road and the journey that you take us on through life. And we ask that all who are traveling at this time might be given that blessing of knowing that there, whatever it is, a plane, a train, a car, or a boat, that you're there with them. Lord, in your mercy. We pray now, Father, for those who are celebrating special things, for birthdays, for anniversaries, especially today. What a wonderful thing. Uh, bless those families with love, love, love going forward. Love and health and, and all kinds of new endeavors that they might enjoy together. Lord, in your mercy. Pray a press, special prayer for my brother Mike today as he uh, celebrates his 50th anniversary of ordination. All we ever wanted to do was to serve you and to love the people you sent us. And you have given Mike that privilege for all these years. Continue to strengthen him and Vicki, his wife and his family, with the strong love of the Lord, because you loved them first. In Jesus' name, we pray all of these prayers. Amen. Amen. And the offerings are coming up now. And as they come forward, we're going to sing a song called En Mi Vida, or In My Life. Here we go.
Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have had mercy on us and given your only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Send your Holy Spirit into our hearts that he may establish in us that living faith and prepare us to remember our Redeemer and receive him who comes to us in his body and blood. Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. In the same manner also he took the cup after supper. When he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink of it, all of you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. And now we can join hands. We're going to sing a song of unity. It's called the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Paz sea contigo. You can share that peace. Comparte. Share the peace with one another. A little handshake, a little flip there. You give a little peace sign. Right, whatever you want to do. Do what comes naturally. This used to take about a half an hour before COVID. Un abrazo. Okay. You may be seated. We're going to continue with the, the Holy Communion. The hymns during communion are listed. Roca de Eternidad, Rock of Ages. Second one is Drawn to the Cross. And the third one, Every Time I Feel the Spirit. Come for the feast is prepared. We're going to have the first communion, second communion kids come up first. Now, when we do this here at St. Peter's, we start from the back, then this side, then this side. And if you trust in the Lord's real presence in this meal, then please take one. You can just receive a blessing 
or you can receive both, because I usually give everybody a blessing anyway. And then uh, we will sing th songs during communion, which are listed and will be shown on the screen. So we, and then we will all receive the communion at the same time at the end, at this time. We haven't changed the policy yet. So there's a little host inside each cup, each, each of those little items, and on the other side is the wine. So you just take the cover off and take the cover off and you have the Holy Communion, but we all do it together. Uh, we started this during time of COVID, so here we go. Come on. Okay. Why don't we do a double blessing? Let me move this line. We gotta move the line. We gotta move the line. We gotta get over further. We're on the wrong side there. But you need the blessing of Jesus Christ be with you. Strong love, peace, and joy every time. Happy second communion to you guys. Jesus bless you. Blessing of Jesus. You go to him.
Spirit moving in my heart. I will pray every time I feel I will pray. Jordan River, chilly and cold, chills the body but not the soul. Every time I Open in my heart, I will pray. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Two, three, four, five. And now take a need of the body of Christ given for you. And take and drink of the blood of Christ which is shed for you. Cuerpo y sangre de Cristo. Amen. Now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus keep you strong in the true faith. Con continue in that faith unto eternal life. Depart in peace. Amen. Please rise and we're going to conclude with prayer and benediction. Let us pray. Almighty God, you provide the true bread from heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Grant that we who have received the sacrament of his body and blood may abide in him and he in us, that we may be filled with the power of his endless life, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Let us, let us bless the Lord. Let us bless the Lord. Oh, let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Receive the benediction of Almighty God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to pray for the food. Heavenly Father, bless the food in the parish hall as you bless the food here today. Thank you for Audrey, for all who bring our fellowship together. And bless the meal there and the time together. In Jesus' name, amen. Final hymn, Sunshine in My Soul Today. Today, 
and hope and praise and love for blessing which he give me now for joys laid up above oh there's sun Sunshine in my soul. There is sunshine. Go in peace and serve the Lord.